Bless up, bless up my people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Anissa Bell Rose. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Thanks to the returning subscribers. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn the post notification bell on. Put it on all so you won't miss an upload from me. On the road to 20k, help me to get there my people. So in this one my people, back with another video and this one is very interesting my people. Where there's four more investigative report that was sent to the House of Representatives today from the Integrity Commission as well as my people we know that the People's National Party has taken the government to court based on this extended tenure for the Director of Public Prosecutions so to stay tuned for all that will be unfolded in this video remember for drop a like share out the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new so if you remember with me clearly my people in july the constitution was amended to move the retirement ages of the director of public prosecutions and the auditor general from 60 to 65 years old right and remember this was the second amendment because the director of public prosecutions namely paula llewellyn had gotten three year extension in 2020 when she was 60 and her tenure was supposed to finish in September when she turned 63 but same was extended again for another further two years so with all of that and the People's National Party had felt that you know according to the Constitution the opposition leader should have signed off or should have approved on that extension or that amendment but same wasn't done however michael hilton who's a king's council in his submissions on monday argued that the government did not follow the proper procedure in passing the constitution act and so with him saying that there was a back and forth with the government's lawyer and him and the government lawyer have labeled the reason offered by the people's national party in its objection to the recent amendments to the jamaican constitution allowing the director of public prosecutions paula llewellyn to remain in office for an extra two years as a complete stretch of the reality Alan Wood Casey, one of the lawyers representing the Attorney General during his submission yesterday in the full court, described as unreasonable the inference by the party that the amendment somehow interfere with the functions of the director or makes her subject to political interference. The People's National Party had filed a claim while contending that the amendment was done for an improper purpose. The claimants also sought declarations including that the DPP should not be allowed to remain in office beyond September when her 2020 extension ended and that the amendment is unconstitutional, null and void. They said that the amendment to section 96.1 should have followed the proper procedure set out for amendments to entrenched provisions. This means that there should have been both a two-thirds majority vote of all members of the House and a three-month period between the introduction of the bill in the lower house and the commencement of debates and another three months between the conclusion of the debates and the passing of the bill. And if my knowledge serves me right, there was no three three months period in all of this. It seems like the amendment was done this week and by next week it was passed according to him the opposition member were not aware of the contents of the bill before it was tabled and the government had circumvented the process by not consulting with the opposition would however argue that the government's action was not in conflict with the constitution as the act was passed in accordance with section 49 of the constitution it does not undermine the functions of the director it does not reduce her tenure it extends it he said it is a complete stretch and an unreasonable inference to draw that the amended act 
somehow interferes with the functions of the director or makes her subject to political interference. Addition to that, Wood asks the three judge panel of Justice Sonia Wint Blair, Simone Wolf Reese, and Trisha Hutchinson Shelley to reject the People's National Party's reason for opposing the extension, noting that it was a radical interpretation of Jamaican constitution. So now listen to that keenly my people and drop on the comments in the comment section and make a reason. If on the thing that this taking them to court is a waste of time because the GG already signed to all of this and her two year extension was already approved. Tell me what you think about it. So right now in this segment my people the single anti-corruption body has sent four investigation reports to the parliament for tabling to DMI people. And at the same time, the Integrity Commission has also submitted to parliament indicative rulings from the Director of Corruption Prosecutions, Keisha Prince Kamika, for tabling. In a news release, the Commission said the investigation reports and indicative rulings were sent to the Parliament. The agency said the documents were formally received and signed for at Parliament at 1.50 p.m. this afternoon. The Integrity Commission says it anticipates that its investigation reports, which were submitted pursuant to and in con formants with section 54 of the integrity commissions act together with the associated indicative rulings will be tabled in both houses of parliament as soon as possible right and as usual we know that they got hard copies as well as you know usb flash drive and copies were sent to the houses of um, Parliament Clerk, as well as to Juliet Olness, who is the President of the House of Representatives, and to Tom Tavares Finson, who is the President of the House of Senate. So let us wait and see who is under investigation now. We're not sure if any of the illicit six. Not sure, so we're waiting. Hopefully, my people, let's stay tuned. Hopefully we get some update by now on Friday. May I expect say them reports here are going to be tabled and be released to the public as well as other members of the parliament. I want to drop some comments and let me know what I think, my people, as them go down to the wire of um, this local government elections. Everybody anticipate this date that the prime minister is holding dear to his heart. And remember, my people say Sunday coming, the 26th of November, is their 80th annual conference for the Jamaica Labour Party. And so, we are listening out for here the dates and what to come. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Run, go over to my other platform, Instagram and Facebook, and follow me over there at Anissa Bell Rose. Check out the YouTube store, make a purchase, it goes in support of the channel. Check out the YouTube membership, you get a lot of benefits by becoming a member. We do notification shout out in each and every video to be a part of that. All you have to do is be the first to comment, like, and subscribe, and you'll be featured in the following video to come. This notification shout out goes to Arlene from Big Up Yourself, Arlene from Big Up to each and every subscriber. New viewers, come on board, journey with me, join the family, subscribe to the channel, share out some other videos, like up the videos. Stay tuned for more videos. Big Up on yourself. Get this video to at least 200 likes. Remember my people, we're on the road to 20k. Big up.